Hello everybody and welcome in. If you're like me, you went through a lot of videos when you got to that tier 5 in stone block. And today I'm just going to make a video on how to do the basic stone block setup for the particle accelerator so that you too can get your plutonium dust from the first particle acceleration quest line, which is going to require you to have 2500 joules of energy for the collision. So before we get into the building of it, you are going to need 36 particle acceleration rings. You are going to need four accelerators. You are going to need two of the particle accelerators right here. You are going to need three speed uh, readers right here, the sensors. You are going to need five repeaters. 40 redstone, three comparators, and eight redstone links. All of those should have been on the screen right now, but just to kind of look at what we have again. And of course, you will need your favorite power supply cables, and of course, your power supply in order to power up these accelerators. On the slower speeds, these are not taking up a lot of power, but as the machine is going faster and faster and faster, it does require more power to push the particle faster than it already is already going that will become an issue later on when you do the black hole but for now you don't actually need very much power in this uh setup so let's build it so let's go ahead and show you guys uh how these work so first off if you want to follow along with the gridding pattern i just use an exchange gadget set it to grid and replace all the blocks on the ground i did not place all of those myself thankfully and this will help us keep everything in line. So you're going to place down the particle accelerator itself. Just one of them right there. You're going to grab some uh, energy pipes so that you can come through and actually power everything you need to. So let's go to right there. In front of this particle accelerator, you have to use one of these accelerator guide rings and toss that in there. And then at the start, when you first launch this, these things can only go, the particle will only go two blocks before it expires or before it just evaporates. So you have to do it every two blocks. And what that's going to create is a slight problem with the size of the machine. Because the goal is to turn this, just like the Hedron Collider uh, that we have IRL, you are going to want to turn this particle into a loop and the first loop needs to be small, but it does need to exit the small loop eventually and leave it. And I'll show you guys uh, why right now as we build this off. So we're just going to do a very simple basic one. It is not going to be uh, perfect, but it will work just fine as it is. Now, you also need these particle accelerators, so we can toss, the, toss those down right there. And those will also act the same as the particle uh, acceleration guide rings. So if we go ahead and power those, those are powered up now. And we can go ahead and build the ring that we need for this. And the, the block will show you which direction you could turn them. So you just need to keep turning your things like that. And right there is what you're looking for in your first ring. And we're just going to go out just a little bit here turn again right keep going with that we'll bring this out have that turn into this keep that whole momentum going right there and you would think that right there is good the problem with this is there's no way to read what is going on right now and that is what you need for this uh, accelerator sensor for right here this will read the particle and say how fast it is going. And what we could do is we could just replace this guy right here with that. And that'll give us a redstone signal that we can use for exiting this smaller ring. So now if we take something like this uh, anti-block, we, we throw that in there and not stand in front of it. You'll see that it's gonna go around the whole ring. And there's an easy way to check and see what's going on is you click on the particle accelerator. It'll tell you the speed, 
the max distance of the gates allowed, and the max curve. Eventually, this will speed up too fast for this curve, and it will escape. A word of caution, don't do what I did and have this on the same level as your other machines, because if this particle escapes from this ring, it will do damage. As you can see, going out from my base, there are ch little blocks missing as it goes out, and it will break apart uh, these machines. So here we can see it exited and went that way, and we can see a line going out that way where the particle ex uh, exited. But when we look inside here, we can see it got up to 295 uh, MS for the speed, and the max uh, curve was a 6.8, and it could have done a 6.9 curve distance. What you're going to want to do is now you will need to do the redstone segment of this. So for this, you will need to do a comparator out the back side of this. And you will need to do some redstone going out like so. Now, depending on your size, if you want to change the size of this at all, you can. So this is what we have so far. We have 13 of the uh, rings. We have two of the accelerators, and we have the one particle accelerator here, and we have the one uh, accelerator sensor, and that is our inner ring. So now, if we look at this, and we shoot off one more item again, we can see the point when our ring exits. And what that's going to let us do is it's going to let us uh, change this based upon what you do. So let's wait for this to exit. And we'll see how high uh, the redstone signal gets out of this machine before it is good to go. So we can see that it got to this point, and this is where we'll need to have our redstone signal. Now, you might be better at redstone than me. I suck at redstone. So I'm not sure how to keep this gate open besides doing that. That way, when it gets to this point, this line will stay uh, locked open. Next, we're going to go ahead and use these uh, redstone links. The redstone links will get dropped down. And of course, we can link this up with number one. And then over here on this end ring, what we're going to do, we're going to pop out this, pop out this, and we're going to open up both of these with that redstone link. So we're going to go to frequency one, frequency one, we will set this to receive, and now when this receives its redstone signal and everything gets locked open, this uh, gate right here will get locked open, and now we can exit out of this gate. As we can see here, it went up to a 6.9 for curve and 6.8 for distance. So to play it safe, what we're going to do is we're going to build the next ring at a 6 block difference. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So right here, that should allow us to get the particle from over there out here and move it to the next segment. So again, we don't need to go too much bigger, but we do need one, two, three, four. If we go right there, that will capture it right there. If we go out this far, it might not, but we can try it. So that is a one, two, three, four, five. It might capture it. Let me go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll see if this works or not. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. And we're going to come back over this way. And this way we can actually have it so that it comes through here. So two, four, six. And on this one, we're just going to cut it off right here. Two, four, and six right here. Two, four, six. And here it's going to be a little bit different. One, two, two, four, six. So here two, four, six. 
And this is why it's different. You're going to need to uh, modify this to adapt for that. But that's okay, because now we can also throw in the reader right here for the next segment of the ring. So now, if we throw in the particle, we can see what happens. We can see if we've messed up on our count at all. And we can see what happens. So let's check this out and see what's going to occur. Okay, it locked open and we are fine on the segment. So now it's in the outer ring and we can see that it is accelerating. You can put more accelerators out here on the sides to keep this going faster. You don't want them on the inside because you don't want this this middle one to go in uh, and accelerate too fast too soon. But now we can see what this little ring on the outside is going to get us to before it escapes. So we can see that our particle did exit and it exited at 2500 milliseconds, which is actually going to be enough for the first segment. All right, so we can see now that our acceleration gets up to 2600 and then it will exit uh, from the pathway. Technically, that is all you need for the first quest line for the particle accelerator because you only need 2500 joules. The problem that I run into is that oftentimes it is hard to get the timing down for the exit to collide. So what I usually do is I'll set up another link and I'll set up a larger ring going around this one just so that I can get the extra speed. And after all, you're going to need more speed later on when you go to create the black hole, which needs 15,000 joules, which is quite a bit. So let's go ahead and build the next ring on the outside here. And as you can see here, we did get up to pretty high uh, ring diameter. So we can actually go a lot easier on here as well now. So we go from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can just come out to here. Go off this way. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Write that. And then same thing over here, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. And of course, now we can just complete this loop as uh, we have it here. You can also just reuse some of these other ones if you are creative enough. I'm not, so we're just going to create a whole new uh, setup here. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And from here, we can actually just come in and loop this as well. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That, two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. Two, four, six, eight, and ten right here. And now we are looking over here. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. So now we have the outer loop as well. And again, you're going to need a uh, sp speed counter out here as well. So you can put that wherever you want. Go ahead and do that. And of course, we are going to need some more uh, redstone as well. Let's grab some more redstone. And again, with the just a redstone line until you get the right signal that you want. So now let's verify that we can get this up to speed and that everything is connected properly. And of course, we need to lock this gate open once it gets there. Yep, and we need to set up the gates for this as well. So there is the redstone link right there. We are going to need to open up this. And this is going to be on redstone 2. Open. And then same thing over here. Redstone link. 
set that there, and to receive. And it is in the outer ring now. So now we can see that the outer ring is already past the point that we needed it to be, which is perfect for us because now we can come through here and we can set up the other particle accelerator just right over here. And we can have it, oops, one more over, just one more over right here. And now we can have it come through here and connect through this. Now I do this just to give it some extra room so that it can actually collide. And it exited right there. So let's go see how fast this was going. So it did get the 3600, which is plenty for our needs. And I didn't see where it went, where uh, the max level went. So what we're gonna do now is we are gonna go ahead and collide our two particles to get our plutonium dust. So we have uranium going into the system. And then of course, over here, we are going to have the uh, fluxite going into the system. Let's grab all of our other redstone property, our other redstone stuff. We're gonna do that. And again, it, you're probably gonna have a better understanding of redstone than I do. And you could probably do a way better job at figuring this out than me, but this is what worked for me. And so I've just stuck with it. So now we're going to use redstone in number two. So there's a redstone signal for number two. And we're gonna turn that on. And then over here, whenever we find out which setting it needs to be on, for now, it doesn't really matter because we know as soon as it exits that ring, it's already pretty much up to speed. Or not. All right, so apparently we can't do it like that. So we'll just put a delay on here. Throw that down. And now we can redo this to be the redstone on number two. And now what will happen is it will exit. This is the problem for me with this machine is I suck at redstone. And so trying to get this timing circuit down, that's the hardest part of this, in my opinion, is the timing circuit. So let's make sure that this works this time and we should be fine. So there's the exit. It's already at speed. And there is our collision right there. And you can see right there, we have our plutonium dust. So that is how you do it. That is all you need to do. Um, play with this as you want, do a creative world, but this is the basics of how you do this. All right, guys. So thank you for coming in and checking out the video. If it helped you, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hey, if you can, go check out some of the other videos we have on the channel. We are almost monetized. So see you guys later. Bye.